you're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads, I'm your host, Michelle Seeger. The world our children are growing up in is getting smaller by the day. But April 21st in Hampton, it will get even smaller still when they bring 38 countries to Mill Point Park for the 12th Annual International Children's Festival. Let's check out some video now of last year's festival. <laughs> Jim Wilson with Hampton Parks and Recreation, and we're here at the International Children's Festival. This is the 11th year for the Hampton uh, Parks and Recreation sponsored International Children's Festival. We have over 35 countries here today with both history, culture, customs, and food. This is a great opportunity for our youth and our adults to bring all the people in the country and the world together to educate our youth in Hampton and the Hampton Roads area. I was born in Viv, Ukraine, and I, but I've spent all of my childhood and my adult years here in the States. I am greeting your viewers with the traditional Ukrainian welcome of bread and salt. And bread, Ukraine is known as the breadbasket of Europe, and salt, as Christ said, you are the salt of the earth. So with a humble and heartfelt greeting, this is used traditionally on all important occasions. Hello, welcome to the International Children's Fest, the best fest in Hampton Roads. All the countries over the world showing their exhibits and giving all their information about their country's culture. It's beautiful out here. With me to give us the skinny on this year's festival are Ryan Lafada, the Media Relations Manager from the Hampton Convention and Visitors Bureau, and Kat Williams, the representative from Poland for this year's festival. Now, Kat, I'd love for you to tell me, how is it that you get to represent your country at an event like this? What do you have to do? Um, nice would be if you're from that country. I'm from Poland. I've been living in the United States for about seven years, and it's wonderful that I get to show my culture and my country culture to kids around the Hampton Roads, because we're all from different places, and I feel like it's very important for our children to grow up knowing different cultures and maybe some languages. So this year we, um, we have a lot of fun things planned for the kids, and you've got to come and see our booth. But last year we did a lot of flowers, um, with the crepe flowers, which was a lot of fun, and we painted eggs, which is part of our culture. That's what we do. That's awesome. Now, Ryan, tell us um, what's new this year, what's great, what can we expect? Yeah, well, this is our 12th year. Uh, we have three stages of entertainment. Uh, and another big thing this year is a passport to adventure. So for one dollar, uh, a child can get a passport and go to each country that's going to be there. They'll have their visa stamped, and if they do have every, or they visit every single country, then they can enter to a prize drawing for a World Traveler uh, prize drawing at the end. And so we do, we have a lot of things planned, uh, food, entertainment, um, and you know, it's going to be a great time. That does sound fun. Now I know that admission's free, but you can also buy a lot of delicious foods from different countries? That's correct, yeah. There's going to be different food vendors that will be down there representing um, various countries that we have represented. So you can you know, go ahead and pick up something if you're hungry. Uh, it is free. Um, the food is not free, of course, but um, and the Passport to Adventure is a dollar. So. Yeah, the good things. Yeah. Now, Kat, what types of things, I know that you've been a participant in the festival for a long time. Um, what's your favorite activity to participate in? My favorite activity is the parade in the beginning because you get to see every country, you get to see everybody walk by and introduce themselves to you. So you, you get to see this big picture because then when the, once the event starts after a parade, you know, you have to go and walk around each booth to see and um, explore um, differences in those countries. But that parade is just wonderful. There's just everybody walks and everybody, it feels like a big one, big family well, that great. we are. We'll come out April 21st, Mill Point Park in Hampton, the International Children's Festival. See you there.